been a kind of crazy <laughs> two weeks. So what, what, where's your head right now after hearing the news and then getting the interim job? Finally well, you, you just you know it's a it's a tough situation, especially for the guys. You know, you, you've been doing something, been hearing the same voice all year, and uh, now a new voice comes in. So, you know, it's something that we got to deal with. You know, we can't change it, and we just got to move forward. In your mind, what, what went wrong? Listen, AK is a legend here. He's going. He's all time winning as coach. Uh, sometimes at the at the um, uh, coach can't get to the players like he wanted to. Um, you know, that's why last Monday he he did what he did to try to maybe spark those guys. It didn't work, and then he had to, he went another direction. Did you sense that it not only didn't work, but that maybe it went the other direction? What were the last six days like? Well, you think about this. You, you know, he did it because of the players. That's the reason he did it. He said, hey, listen, I'm going to try to take it where you guys don't have to think about what's happening to me at the end of the year. Let's let's get that all that off the table. You know, let's maybe you guys will play loose and free, and it just didn't work. It, did, it didn't work, and he thought it was going to work. We all thought it was going to work, but it, it didn't work. The guys did not respond the way he thought they would. Has there been chemistry issues? No, no. The guys they love each other, man. They're they're brothers. They're brothers. They work for hard for each other. So, and they have a really good relationship on and off the court. It's just a matter of sometimes, man. It snowballs and and it goes in the wrong direction. That's what happened. Brian mentioned you thought there were some trust issues between players and coaches and staff once all the losing started. Is that something that you sense? No, I I have not sensed that. And, but you think about this: anytime you lose a basketball game, you lose one game, you lose two, three, four in a row, seven like we've done. I mean, then all of the negativity comes out. You know, that's when you start think you start doubting your coaches, your teammates, and then it just happens. Uh, but you know, I, I don't think there's any trust lost. I just think we you know we got in a losing streak, and and now we got to try to find a way to get out of it. As far as the players now trying to finish out the season, I mean, what has the uh, approach been in terms of what you've seen from them in practice? I mean, has it been a good response? I mean, well, you know, yesterday we we had a short workout yesterday just to kind of get the blood flowing and trying to. You know, get away from all the foolishness and everything that we've heard for you know for yesterday. So you know, we had a good workout yesterday. You know, we'll come back today, have a good day, and, and get on the plane and go to Missouri. Stepping in as interim, how, how do you motivate the guys for the last four or five games? We're just gonna play hard. I mean, we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just demand that these guys play hard, play for each other. I mean, that's all you can do at this at this end of the time of the year. That's all you can do, and that's what we're gonna try to make them do. I know you've been in this a while. Was it hard at, for you? You're a human being. You're not just a coach. Mm -hmm. you, you, the season's going to end in a few weeks. You've got to think about your family and all this stuff. Is it hard to separate that stuff from trying to coach a team? No, it's not. Uh, just because, like I said, I've been in, like you said, I've been in a long time, you know, over 20 years in assistant coach at Division One level. So I, I've seen a little bit of it all. I've been through a little bit of it all. So it's just one of those deals, man. You just take it. Uh, you you trust everything you've learned from all the head coaches I worked under, and you just go with it. How did you find out you were going to be placed in this role? Uh, AK told me uh, yesterday morning. I have not. Why do you think it was, particularly with this team, as, as experienced as it was, so hard for AK to, to get through to this team? Well, I, I don't think it was. It was a. It was a factor. The things just did, didn't go the way we wanted them to go. You know, you talk about defensively, it's kind of been one of our issues, and we hadn't guarded. And usually, that what you know comes from when your offense is struggling. A lot of times, and we hate to say it, but when your offense is going, and you want to guard, and we haven't been able to shoot the ball and score the ball like we've we've capable of doing, and so our defense has suffered.